Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's Nick and in this video I'm going to show you how to move your personal YouTube account onto a branded account. Let's get to it. Now there's a couple of reasons why you might want to move to a branded YouTube account off of your personal account and there's a couple of downsides and there's uh, some, some tricks of the trade that you're definitely going to want to know before you do this. So this video is actually part of the YouTube Creator Tips series. That There'll be a uh, link down in the description for any of these YouTube videos, part of this series, uh, how to do different things on managing a YouTube channel. Um, and like I said, specifically for this video, we're going to move a personal email or a personal YouTube account onto a branded YouTube account. Now one of the really cool things about using a YouTube branded account is you can actually give other people access to your YouTube account in order to help you manage it or anything like that. So say you have a, a business that has a YouTube account and you have multiple people like two or three or four, or maybe even a dozen people managing that same YouTube account. They can all log in and manage that branded YouTube account from their own personal YouTube account. So it's definitely a big perk and a big reason why a lot of businesses and companies actually switch over to a branded YouTube account. So one of the things that I want you to keep in mind is that by moving a personal YouTube account to a branded account, You'll actually be able to keep all of your videos, your views, your subscribers, everything like that from your personal account. It'll basically just move, be moved to a new name on that branded account, which is definitely a huge perk of this new method in the YouTube studio that you're able to move your accounts like this. So let's go ahead and get into this. So once you're over on youtube.com, not in the creator studio, but once you're just on the generic YouTube, you want to click on the profile icon on the top right corner and you want to go to your settings. Now once your settings load up you want to go down to your advanced settings link on the left hand side over there and then right around the middle of the screen you'll see this move channel link. You can move your YouTube or your uh, Google account to a branded account. So go ahead and click on that link there. Now once it is loaded up you can see that my channel here is on my personal channel. It's connected to my own Google uh, email address and all that kind of good stuff there. But you can see that after the move, you can actually select what branded account you want to move it to. Now, if you don't have any branded accounts already here, then you can check out my other video. be a link down in the description on how to create additional branded accounts or just multiple YouTube accounts that you can actually manage all from the same uh, Gmail or Google YouTube login, which is super convenient to do if you're trying to do that sort of thing. But once you have an additional branded account created, for me, I have this one of Hey Toots, and I'm actually transferring all my videos and my entire channel over to that branded account. So you just want to select whichever branded account you want, and you'll notice that all of my subscribers, my videos, and my playlist, it's going to be moved over to this new branded account. Now, something that is very, very important to know is that any videos, views, or any content on the branded account that you're moving to, in this case, this Hey Toots branded account, any content on that account is going to be completely deleted once you make this move, and you cannot get any of this information back. So definitely a huge caution point there if you are trying to do this. So keep in mind of what content, both your videos, subscribers, any sort of traction your channel's already built, uh, and even your comments that you've made you're gonna lose all of that. So keep that in mind. But once you are committed to this, go ahead and click on the move channel button and it tells you that same, same piece of information. You're gonna lose all that information. And then you're also gonna actually lose a custom URL if you do have one. So I have another video on how to get a custom URL. After you have moved to a branded account, you will actually lose that custom URL, but you can go through the same process on how to actually get that custom URL back and like I said, there'll be a link down in the description for that video on how to get a custom YouTube URL. So once you're committed to it, go ahead and click on the move channel button and give it a couple of seconds as it goes to load on up. And then you'll get a notification saying that it's been successfully moved to the new channel and that it could take a couple of minutes for the whole process and the migration to occur. But you'll notice that the information is all gone and that's definitely what you want to see there. Now once your migration has been completed, you can go ahead and go over to your YouTube Studio link on the top right corner, click on your icon, click on YouTube Studio, and then uh, wait a couple of seconds for it to load up. 
and then boom, you can see that all of my content, you'll get a nice little notification saying, hey, you're new to YouTube Studio, because it's a, uh, you kind of are. Uh, but you can see that all of my content is still here. I've got my videos here. All of my channel statistics and analytics are still there, which is really awesome to see. So that's how to actually move your YouTube, personal YouTube account into a branded YouTube account. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button down there. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the new channel, there'll be a link down in the description for you. You can keep up to date on any of these YouTube creator tips videos that I create. And I try to post at least one or two of them a month. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.